Mike Yumaswamy announced today it's not opening this November after learning that Border Patrol will be acquiring the land where the swap meet currently sits. Good evening. Thank you so much for choosing to be with us. I'm Scott Gross. Valeria Rodriguez spoke to locals as well as the swap meet president and shares their reactions for us tonight. The swap meet here on 4th Ave and 40th Street has operated here for over 60 years, making the news even more difficult for locals. And it, it's just uh, just not fair to the people in Yuma County to be told you can no longer have that swap meet. Local Irene Sharkey, who's been a swap meet customer for many years, upset after learning the news. It is, it is part of Yuma that has been there for years, and it's a sad time when they have to move. And I, I think that the government, they have all kinds of money. They can build buildings, they can build homes, houses. Why do they want to take something that belongs to Yuma? It belongs to us. Those of, the, oh, those of us that, that are not rich, but that's where you go to find things that are within our budget. The Yuma Swap Meet president says he wants to keep the community fully informed on what's happening now and the next steps. It's important. And a lot of people count on the swap meet. A lot of people work there. A lot of people make their living there with their small family businesses. And we, we felt that once we knew with a relatively high degree of certainty that the government would acquire it, we felt we should notify people. Meanwhile, we reached out to Customs and Border Protection, but they say they had no comment at this time. In August, we reported CBP was looking at the Yuma Swap Meet land as one of the sites for a new migrant processing center. Some locals shared with us their favorite part of the swap meet. The swap meet is very important to the community here in Yuma. I love to go and I always went. I love to dance and that's where I danced so happily. I would buy those little electric devices. I took the kids when they were little. The swap meet hopes to find a new location soon and reopen in the near future. But that date is still up in the air. Reporting in Yuma, Valeria Rodriguez, News 11.